Wow, jeez. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to my classic car. Well, this week we're in Gilroy, California for the Garlic City Car Show. Gilroy's a cool little town about a half hour south of San Jose, and man, did they bring out some wild rides today. It can get warm here in the summer, but today it's like mid 70s, perfectly blue sky. This is gonna be a blast. Hey, Mark, how you doing, man? Good, Dennis, thank you. Welcome to Gilroy. We appreciate you being here. Great to be here. You know, uh, you really packed them in today. This is, you, you got a great turnout. We did. This is one of our best years. Last year, we had about 300. This year, we're about 360. Oh, that's great, yeah. So well, we're very happy with obviously called in some great weather. Yes, it uh, worked like out very well. It was mid-70s today in, in, uh, in August in Gilroy. That's, that's kind of rare, isn't that's it? That's not bad, because just two days ago, it was over 100. Yes, it was. So we're we very happy. We flew in yes, It was very that's hot. That's right. That's right, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm just amazed at the uh, diversity of cars here. I guess the car culture is really strong in this neck of the woods, isn't it? It really is. We have a lot of car clubs in the area, yeah. and they're always very excited about this particular event. And this year, they really came together to participate. So we're Great. very excited about the turnout. Well, you know, it's a nice downtown. I mean, it's got a really, uh, I mean, you're not far from San Jose. You're not far from a lot of population, but it's got a little small town feel to it. It really does, and you're right. We're very close to Monterey, Carmel, San Jose, Santa Cruz, so we're really in a great location to reach all of those points within 45 minutes or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but for the downtown that we have here, we've got some good things going on. Some growth is beginning to occur. So again, we're excited about what's happening here in Gilroy. Yeah, and you got a got a got a happening show. I mean, last night we were out at Gilroy Gardens. You had this right. little gathering out there, yes. which is a kind of a amusement park, for lack of a better right. word. But man, that was just a. It's a really cool place with some very interesting stuff, and they they let the cars just go in and and park there. So that looked great. Yes, it turned out really well. Gilroy Gardens is a great partner with the Chamber of Commerce, and so we've had some wonderful opportunities out there to do different events. But this is the first year we did our show and shine out there, and it really turned out well. Like you said, the setting was good, the cars looked great. Yeah, they did. And they just let us drive those cars right into the park and, and set them right in the middle of I, everything going on. The carousel, I was shocked, frankly, I was shocked. Right. You know, and, and you're in an interesting part of California. I mean, you've got, this is wine country. It's, it, you don't think of it as wine country. But it kind of is the origins of wine country almost, isn't it? It is. This is the oldest operating wine region in California. Yeah. And we have a wine trail that, that winds through Gilroy, through San Martin, and into Morgan Hill. So in the South County region here, we have a real strong wine presence. Nothing like Napa, of course, and well, some other regions, know, but, but it was... they're just very supportive of the community overall. Well, and everybody, I mean, everybody came out for this. Again, great show, nice town. What do you say we go look at some cars? Let's check it out. All right, man, let's Thank do you. it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Rich, I dig your car. You know, uh, you came rolling in. Makes a bit of a racket, by the it way. Does, it, it does. It does make a bit yeah, of a racket. A little bit, yes. <laughs> a little bit of a racket. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I, I like the stance of it. I really like this uh, satin periwinkle. What do you call this it's color? It's just a base coat with no clear. Is that what it is? Yeah. What's the color? Uh, it's from a Honda, to be honest. Oh, no yeah. kidding. Because it's kind of blue, it's kind of purple. It is, yeah, depending on the light. And, and which, yeah, where the angle uh -huh. is? Uh-huh, daytime or nighttime, it definitely changes. So it's a 36? 36 Ford, five window coupe. Five window coupe. And how long you had it? Over 20 years. Man, that's just amazing to Yeah, me. It's, I've had it for a long, I was just a little long when I had it. Yeah? Yeah. And, and you built it, I mean, this yes. is pretty much all your yes. stuff, eh? Yes, just over the years, I did one thing out another. So it wasn't like you had this vision, you've just kind of been building it a piece at yeah, a time. Yeah, piece at a time, exactly. Year well, after year, I changed it up. You know, it came together pretty well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much. So did you do the chop? I did. Yes, I did. How we took, we that's, took that's... three inches out of it. Wow. And then we filled the roof because it used to have that yeah. center patch, so we, yeah. we put another roof in there. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's pretty tough. I mean, uh, you learn as you go. <laughs> this, is, this is how I learned. <laughs> this, this is my project, Yeah, this right? is my project. And that's a 36 grill or Yes, not? that's a 36 grill. Uh, and the lights are 36 as well. Because I've really, I've always loved the lenses in these. Yeah. I just think they look so. They cool. look really cool. So I wanted yeah. to keep that. Yeah, it, it's it's hard to miss the motor. I mean, uh, she's right here. Um, 
350, 383? Uh, 383, 383, small stroker. block Chevy. And then what do you, you, know, what do you have for uh, your carburation or your injection? Or what um, are we it's at? got four downdraft Webers on it. Man, that's nice. And it runs really well. So was it tough setting them up? Not really. Once you, you set one up individually, and yeah. then you start to tie them all together. And once you get them all tied together, they pretty much operate all together. So you're and running on all of them. She's I like, run on all of them. Each one feeds a cylinder. So there's eight of them. <laughs> so you just adjust one cylinder at a time. And Seriously. Once you, yeah, once you, get, once you get this one adjusted, you got, you got each one on and each side. And then you just work your way down. And then, yeah, then you could put the, it's like a gauge and it'll check. And once you get all the right air volume yeah. in there, it, it runs really well. I don't even adjust it. It's wow. been set for years. Seriously? Yeah, I don't wow. have to come back and adjust anything. Well, you know, that's a, that, that's a pretty tight fit there for that engine. Was it tough to get it in? Or? Not really. I just set it in and just kind of built everything around the hole that I had. <laughs> it sort of looks like it. It actually, especially, you know, your headers here, which those look custom. Custom made, and it, as well, they were built around the car. So I just kind of mocked it up in the car and built piece by piece. And and they, there's no baffles in there, is no, there? No, no, it's I mean, open. Yeah, again, you made some racket coming Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a little loud. It kind of, kind of gets to your ears kind, after a while. Kind of, yeah, right. And is it all steel, even your running? It's all steel, yeah. Wow. Where'd you find the body? I found the body up north, and it was just the body, and everything else was on shelves. So we, we loaded the body, and we loaded the rest of the parts in the back of the truck, and that's how it came. Uh, hauled her home. Yeah. Right here, yeah. to, and you're, you're from here in Gilroy, I'm from right? Gilroy, yes. So you built it right here? I built it right here, really cool. in a garage. <laughs> so I we didn't have any shop, no lift. We I, just, I really dig it. I mean, I just dig everything about it. And and even the, you know, it looks like it's even a big chop. Yeah. Uh, built for comfort. Is What are the seats out of? Uh, the seats are out of a Honda. And everything else is just kind of hand done as I went as well. The dash and everything I just did. Put the gauges in there. You got a tilt column. I got a tilt column. And I custom made the little shifter there just to be a little bit different instead of the column shift because it's got a five speed in there. So it's fun to go through the gears. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. you know, and, and you've got those seats really down there. They're sitting low. So it, even with this chop, it looks like a lot of headroom. Yeah, it's a lot of room when you sit inside. Yeah. Great to headliner, surprised. too. I mean, it's it's really finished out nice. Huh? Yes, it, it drives very nice. I can I can go on long trips. We went to Vegas in it. No, no problem. Gilroy right uh, to Vegas and back. No problem. Jeez, I dig it, man. Just a driver. <laughs> just, just a driver. Yeah, just we like to have fun in our cars. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's what it's all about. The wide whites are great on it. Love the, you know, the, the chrome wheels. The chrome wheels. So these are these are 36. I believe those are 38. Oh, okay. But it's been a while. They've been on a while. Yeah, they've is, been on a while. Is that a 36 bumper? 36 bumper. And it stuck out that far? Factory, I believe that's the way they came because those are the factory brackets. I just added the license plate down to the yeah. bottom because I wanted to keep everything low. I know that the factory ones want to sit up there. Yeah. I just kind of wanted to keep everything low, so that's why I kind of designed it to sit low. Yeah. Well, you came in. I saw you rolling in with a whole group of. Folks, you must hang together with yeah, a bunch we're of all, Yeah, we, get, we all get along here in town. So we, everybody knows everybody because it's a really small town. Yeah. So yeah, it's fun. The car scene is very nice. Well, it is. You know, and I dig that about this. There's cars everywhere. Everybody seems to be having a pretty good time. And, there's, and today in particular, I mean, there's just, they're packed everywhere. Yeah, there. there's a lot of cars here. <laughs> well, and you obviously do good work. 36 five window coupe with a 383 stroker and some killer Webers. Rich, I dig Thank your you car, Thank you so man. much. Thank you. That's sweet. Sean, this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And, Thank and, you very uh, much. And I said, oh, man, a 23 window VW bus. He said, well, actually, actually it's a 21. Yeah, it's a 21. And I, I didn't know that. This, this is a, a, what, a 67? 67. And they only had 21. That's right. They had a big back window after 64, which made them go to 21 rather than the 23. Because the other ones were on the kind of the they back were, pillars, they were, right? They had a very small back rear window. It was tough to see out of, so they added the two little ones to get a little more view. So it's a mere 21. And yes, <laughs> yes. So what years did they do the 23? They did them up to 63. After 63, they, they went to the larger back window in 64, and then they went to the 21 window. And when did they end the multi-windows? Is this um, the last this, year? Yeah, the last split this window is 67. was 67. This is it. Oh, this is just... In 68, we went to the bay window you know i just i dig everything about this uh your colors and everything are, are are just great how long did it take you to build this thing the original projects it took about five years in the works uh, and then uh, and then when we got it to california um, after the for phase two we took a few more years to get it just right where we, everything's working correctly now man it's just it is awesome you know and i 
What's this? I've never seen this before. These are the wipers. So the way these worked were when you had safaris, when the window was closed, these were just kind of floating they, around. Right, they yeah, they just around. floated flap around. So then they, they would hook onto the, 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 uh, the braces, and then they would actually work like proper proper um, uh, windshield wipers. So that's just the, the rest position. Yeah, the little duck bill, and it, looks, it, look, it works great. They don't come off in the freeway. And The, the colors are so cool, because this is a, a very light green. It is. It actually is the color. The uh, when the original build was going on, we matched the color of the of the white, added the tint of the green window. So this is green glass. Jeez. So, and then, so, it, so the whole top looks a consistent color. It, it it really does. And you know, I mean, again, everything about this. You you painted the bumpers. You it looks like you've tucked them in too. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I love your pinstripe, which is kind of a. It's almost an a additional. Salmon. Yes. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's not really red. You're right. Red, red. It's That's salmon. right. And you know. Also a custom piece. Oh really? Eh? Mm -hmm. What's your shifter? I mean, this thing looks. Scan, it's it's a, it's a it's just an aftermarket scant on there. Yeah. But everything was done to kind of have a hot rod look, but also a cool low cal look. Yeah. That, that was done on it. Yeah, definitely. You know, you know the, 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 most of the vehicle is completely custom. If you yeah. look at a stock one, you will see wow, you see the very utilitarian look to them as compared to when you get to something like this where it's very very custom. Oh totally. And what are the wheels? Oh, those are Iosio wheels. These are hand built wheels. Uh, we were custom made for the bus. We went with Porsche braking systems and axles um, so that we, we can get that low look and you know the proper braking structure and then so they would allow it to go so low we had this all custom tub oh, yeah. and then which also made the line for the contour of the seat so you sit on that whole flow my goodness that's a lot of work <laughs> it is a lot of work but I saw it I looked in this thing earlier and what I really dug was this back here I went oh man you got a blonde fender in there <laughs> But that's not actually a blonde fender. It's not. What's it, the deal? It is actually two subwoofers put in there, and we designed it. I had it custom designed so that it looks like an old fender basement. I mean, every the lines, everything just flows so beautifully in this. This thing's too nice. So I also totally dug what you've done with the engine back here. Yeah, Open this thing up. This is amazing. So. I don't think I've ever seen one done like this. Yeah. This is it's gorgeous. And these are all just kind of shrouds around the carbs. Yeah, right? so so it's 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 it mimics the poor shroud right. so that it has that look. Um, and then it's fuel injected. A lot of people think that they're carburetors Which, under there. I, that's but what it's I not. thought. It's they're actually fuel injection system. It's a CB performance fuel injection system. Man, oh man. Mm -hmm. And again, you carried that same kind of light mint green yes. theme through Thing everywhere. Everywhere, even on the shroud. Does this blow people away wherever <laughs> it goes? It still blows me away. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I, I see it in my garage and I think, oh, how did I get so lucky to come up with this? It is just stunning. 19. 67, 21 window. window. Yes, sir. VW, is it a micro bus? They call yeah, it a they, uh, Or that or a Samba, yeah. A, a Samba. Yeah. Oh, Sean, this is, that is Thank stunning, you. man. Thank you. Wow. Jose. A fitting on Caddy Eldorado. <laughs> Man, this, is, this is a lot of car. Yep. This is just stunning. These things are so over the top. Now, are you a Caddy guy? Oh, I love Caddies. Okay. All right. So, do you have other Caddies? Um, I had another Caddy and I sold it. To get this one? To get this one, yes. <laughs> you made a good buy, I yes. think. One of the things I dig about this car is, is actually this bumper. It's like, one bumper's not enough. Nope. Let's put another one down yep. there. <laughs> that, is, that is so much chrome up there, it's just crazy. How long have you had this? I've had this for about six months. So, I mean, this is a new acquisition yes, for sir. you. Yes, sir. And obviously you bought it in this condition. Um, yes, sir. Man, oh man, oh man. Where'd you find it? Uh, out of uh, Redwood City, a car collector. Uh-huh. I got lucky. Man, and you did. An Eldorado. Yeah, an Eldorado. Now, was it already? I mean, you're lower, obviously. Yeah, I put the air right on it. Okay. That's the only thing I did when I purchased the car. I mean, these things are just great. And you drop them down, though, and they almost look sinister. Yes, you know? sir. Changes the whole dynamics of the and car. And you know, from, even from here, that chrome strip that goes yeah. from the front of the door curves all the way back down yep. around the back bumper. I mean, oh, what is not to love about I know. this car? It's... Holy cow. And is this a, a, an official caddy red, or is this some red that just looks good on the car? I, I believe it's some red that it just looks, it looks good, good on, on the car. car. Yeah. I can't argue with yeah. that either. This car was built for a car collector out of Florida in the late 90s, and uh, they did a complete color change in this car for him. Oh, wow. He 
just loved red. Okay. So this car originally <laughs> was a white on white car. Oh yeah. But they You know which looks good, but it's mm -hmm. not as striking as this. No, oh no, no. Red so is that even a, that's even a red headliner, yep. isn't it? Yeah. He, they did the whole car. It is like red, yeah. red, red. And is that the uh, automatic the electronic. electronic eye? Yes, Dims sir. the lights, right? Yes, sir. Does that work? Yep. Wow, that's great. How is it to drive? Oh, like a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? That's it? It's just so awesome though. And I and I just love this. Tiny C pillar. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. This is stainless steel, yep. right? That's not even yep. chrome. Nope. Stainless steel. God. And you know the fins are so insane. The double tail lights. These things look dangerous. <laughs> Done throughout, even like the trunk. Yep. I, uh, I did the trunk myself. I went with the original theme, but with a houndstooth. Oh, uh, houndstooth red and black. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of material in there. Oh yeah. They make a kit for that. Um, or did you have to nope. have that custom? Done? I had it custom done. Seriously. Yep. But that wasn't cheap. Oh uh, no. Oh uh, no, not. it wasn't that cheap. <laughs> Here's the air ride. Oh, it's, you got it hidden. Yep. How cool. Oh, man. That's actually pretty clever. Holy cow. Like and does young. this, uh, do people just flock to this car? Oh, yeah. So, I got it. I, I have a hard time having people keep their hands off me. <laughs> I'm constantly wiping this car down. I can't, everywhere. And you just want to touch it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, it's, didn't even notice, I didn't even notice this. You got the red yep, house too. I did up it up there, there too. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, let's close it back up. Let's go see. Oh. Does this have the... Yeah, the vacuum. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's go up and look at that caddy engine. What do you say? All right. Well, that's a lot of hood, too, isn't it? Yep, heavy. Oh, that is like, I mean, that's like showroom. Yeah. And that's the... the... Factory 390 with the oh. three twos. And factory air? Air conditioning. Well, this had everything, didn't it? Yep, this car's fully optioned. Power wing windows, power windows. Oh, really? Windows. Has the yep. power wing windows yep. too? Holy cow. I always like, you know, the windshield washer jar. Yeah, it's cool. That never seems safe. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just didn't seem safe to me. Man, I mean, this is this is really all stock. Yep. Now, would this, did this have a generator or an alternator? Yeah, it has uh, generators over there. In the and back. You're, are you still running a yeah, generator? I'm still running it. Yep. Man, you really, this thing is amazing. Yeah, thank you. So have you been to this show before? Oh no, this is the first time I've come here. It's pretty cool, isn't it's, it? It's beautiful. And what a day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> Holy cow. 1959 Cadillac Eldorado. Eldorado. Oh man, you made my day. Man, thank you, you made my day too. An original, unrestored 57 Mercury Turnpike Cruiser. Yes, sir. This is really cool. I saw. I met you last night uh, at the Gilroy Gardens. Yes, and, sir. And I'm like, oh man, I think that's a Turnpike Cruiser. <laughs> and you just you don't see these. And I got chatting with you. And this is this is unrestored, right? Yes. This is even yes. original paint. Original paint, except for the hood and and the fender skirts. And that's man, it. Man, oh man. So how did you come to own this? The original owner gave it to me for a destruction derby. About. A demolition derby that gave it to you? Yes. I used to, I, it fared I, pretty well, apparently. Yeah. I, used to, <laughs> I, I used to run derbies for a lot of years. Yeah. And they found out and it was going to go to the crusher. And I said, well, yeah. So they. He you know, gave they it gave, to you in this condition? No, no, no. There was wax all over it. And so oh. I had to get the wax off. So I think that's what saved the paint. So was that intentional? He I put don't that, know. Or he I just like know. put it on, never, he, just, he wiped it on and never wiped yeah. it off, right? Yeah. Man, oh man. Well, these cars were so weird and they had so many different features, kind of modernistic features. I mean, one of the, one of the strangest things are these things right here above the windshield. Yes. That, that look like, you know, antennae, but that, that's actually what? Air vent. intakes. Vent, and then it goes right out the back window. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's such a tank, too. Yeah. They're just such monsters. They only made them two years. Yes. 57 and 8. Yes. And it, do you know how many they made? It wasn't many. 8,400 of the 57 hardtops. That's it. That's it. That's what I've read. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. And that is the original interior, Original right? seats. Everything's original except for the bottom of the front seat. Uh-huh. You notice, you notice the brand on, on the back seat? Oh, yeah. Turnpike Cruiser, yeah. Gosh, it even, it even had its own brand, didn't yes. it? Wow. Yes. So that's the Breezeway window, right? Breezeway top. Breezeway top, breezeway which, top. Had the, uh, which had the roll-down power window. Yes. And it says Turnpike Cruiser on the C pillar inside. Yep. Original headliner with some holes in it. Yep. From the drive-in, that's what I was told. From the drive-in. <laughs> in the 50s, that's all I was okay, told. Okay, well, whatever. That's all I was told, Dennis, we'll just let it go at that. <laughs> if this car could talk. Oh, yeah. But yeah, this pattern is so 
distinctive and, 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 and so weird. Um, and this was an early padded dash, which you haven't, you also haven't messed with. That's no, I'm not touching nothing. A little wrinkly, but you yeah. know, that's, that's yeah. what it looked like. It's and all that engine turning on, on the dash was? Yes, yes. Man, oh man, that, oh man. That's all factory. It, it's just an original, it's a great car. Runs really good, it drives nice, it rides good. So are, are the wing windows power too? No. Uh, okay, no. so you have one, two, three, you have five power windows, yes. right? Yes. And then manual wings. Yes. Jeez. And the other thing that's unique about these cars is that steering wheel. Flat on the top. Flat on the top. Yep. So you could see out over yep. it, right? That yes. was a theory? That's what they did. Yeah, they flat on top of them. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's original. It's, yeah. it's rough in places, but I wouldn't touch it. Oh, no, no, I'm not touching it. And no. this metal trim here is in surprisingly good shape for being yeah. original because that gets yeah. beat up oh, yeah. and really hard to restore. Yeah. These are also you know, distinctive and probably pretty hard to find. Yes, yeah. So it's, you haven't re-chromed it or anything. You just, no. You don't intend to. Probably. I don't intend to. I'm this is just what I'm she is. I'm leaving it just like that. And you've had it how long? 31, almost 32 years. Do you drive it much? Yeah, I, I probably put about maybe 300 miles a month on it. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean. I like driving. It's good on the freeway. Yeah, yeah. It runs does, it, really... does it does it go down pretty straight? Or does it have a little? Wind? Oh no, it goes straight. It oh, stops good. Yeah, it rides good. This is kind of interesting too because that's a complex curve there. Yes. So you don't want to break those. No, no. You very very hard to find. <laughs> like like impossible. Probably. Yeah. A lot so, of them went to derbies. A lot of these cars. Did they went really? To... Oh, because yeah. they're so heavy. Well, the frames are actually actually thick on it. So I've been told. But a lot of them went to derbies back. Back oh. in the day, yeah. Oh man, a lot of them went to derbies. That's sad. Well, uh, this had the three, 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 three sixty-eight. Three sixty-eight. Let's go look at it, man. Sure. Ford's safety hood. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Is that the way the air cleaner is canted in that? Yes. See, because it says front right on it here. It does. Yeah. Yeah. So what's yeah. that clearing? I guess that's clearing. I have the... no idea. Probably the linkage. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. that's kind of odd, isn't it? It's got a little over thirty-five thousand original miles. Wow, on it's it. just yeah. amazing. I pulled the valley pan and the and the valve covers when I first got it, and it was like brand new. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Man, I bet you can't find this uh, this valve cover either with the turnpike cruiser yeah. on it. That's impossible. Yeah. So 368. 368. Right? And and it's called a, it's called a jato thrust motor. Jato. 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 Jato wow. thrust. That's what they call them. I, I have no idea why. why. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. So have you have you. Uh, done the Gilroy show before? No. This is the first time for the yes. Gilroy show? Yes. It's a cool show. It's oh, a cool it's, town. It's a great. Oh, I love this town. This is the best town ever. You're and you're from here, right? No, I, I'm I'm actually from Santa Clara. I've okay. only been in Gilroy about three years, but I love Gilroy. Yeah. I, oh my God. It's a great little town. It, it is. It is cool. You got a great car. An original, unrestored 1957 Merck Turnpike Cruiser, right? Yes. Yes, Man, sir. I love your car. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Way cool. Thank you. Wow, sweet 54. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. you. I, I dig this, and you know, I kind of dig it because it's so stock looking. Yes. You know, you've done some mods and stuff, but you left it pretty 54. Yes. Yeah. So what's the color? Um, it's off a 2002 uh, GMC truck. Well, it's kind of a it, satin, but it's got it, metallic yeah, it's, in it. Or... Yes, it's a base coat with a flat clear, oh, and it okay. does have some metallic in it, um, just from waxing it, shining it up and everything. So it's not so flat, but it's kind of the look I wanted to go for. Um, it's kind of a daring move, you know, with all the chrome. And, and going silver. Going right? silver, and then, <laughs> it is, but it is subtle, and that's it, what I wanted, you know? I wanted well, people to walk by and, you know. Yeah, well, and that's what I did. Yeah. I'm go, you know, I'm kind of like, oh, yeah. Well, actually, but every time I looked at it, I saw more stuff. I like your pinstriping and stuff. I mean, it's Thank just, you. it's all, oh, your word subtle is exactly right. Yeah. That's what this thing is. It's kind of a sleeper, but she looks really good. Yeah. Rechromed it? Rechromed it. Yeah. Uh, stainless has all been cleaned up, you know, dents taken out, and yeah. spent a lot of money on doing that, and yeah. time, and we <laughs> well, did it. it. It is a frame-off restoration. Oh, no kidding. It's wow. all powder-coated underneath. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I did, also, the interior looks uh -huh. to me like, uh, are those like 54 seat frames, too? Yeah, that's all stock. Basically, the gauges have been upgraded uh -huh. in the, the steering column. Uh, it does have a T5 five-speed out of an S10. I just dig your shifter. Yeah. Like, did you have to bend that? Is that a custom bend or? No, I bought it oh, like no that. Kidding, yeah, man. for this car and, and uh, fit really well. And just real, like you, like we talked about, it's just subtle. It just really real simple, is. It, but real fun to drive. Yeah, I bet it is. And yeah. you know, it, I mean, you didn't shave it. The nope. handles are still nope. here. You didn't chop it. Nope. 
Real nice, again, really nice, subtle pinstripe there. And you got some flake in this for sure. Yes, yes. And that's subtle as well. You know, you see it in the sun. I didn't notice uh, it until I was just right here at this yeah, angle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I just, you know, I dig how understated this yeah. car is. Thank you. And here again, you know, just nice job. Yeah, of real simple. I was real nervous to do that, but my pinstriping guy had an idea and, so that's it, and he nailed it. I mean, you totally you know. Yeah. So you didn't even change, you didn't suck the bumpers or anything? Nothing, it? no. No, I didn't want to do any big body mods. I mean, the running gear is not stock by any means, but the outside, I really wanted it like this. I love those emblems, you know, oh, they, they're great. Yeah. And I wanted to leave all that. I didn't want to shave anything or, you know, do anything like that, so. Well, you totally nailed it. And it says, uh, Six. Six in a row. Six in a row. For the Let's go look. I'll bet six. there's a six in there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, man, I like that, too. Now, this would have been, what, a 232? Or it two? would have been a 235. 235, yeah. yeah. And this is a 250. Oh, okay. What's, yeah. what's it out of? Um, it's out of a 68 Chevy truck. And then it has the dual Weber carburetors. And what are the uh, air cleaners? So that, is that just an aftermarket kind yeah, of period? Just, yeah, aftermarket, yeah. Um, just painted them the same color of the car with the shiny clear, so it's a little bit shinier than than the paint, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Left the stock air tubes for our air conditioning, right? <laughs> You're right. Sure, sure. Air conditioning, <laughs> Stuff right? Like that. So, what's the manifold? Um, it's a Clifford Research two two, two cool, barrels, yeah, yeah. Two two barrels, right? Yeah, it runs really well. We've, and I love your wires too. Yeah, you know, kind of the old, old, the, the old fabric wrap. Yeah, that's the, what we were looking for. Man, man, man. Yeah, just a lot of fun. You and know? then you, you, what? You just painted the the valve cover there. And yeah, just painted it and powder coated it and and uh, scuffed it up. For the top fins and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, like, when you're at a show, do you know do people come around this car? I mean, they... you know, I think what happens is they walk by, and then they look back and then go and back to back. it. <laughs> yeah. It's not something that stands right out. Well, it's you funny know? you say that because that's exactly what yes, I, I did. I was like, did, yeah. okay. Oh no! Wait a minute. Oh, I gotta yeah. find this cat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's really. Are you digging the show today? Of, of course, I'm from Gilroy. Oh, Been perfect, here all my life. Perfect, perfect. Uh, well, you, what a nice town, what a nice show. It is. And it what is. a nice car. 54 Chevy. Thank you. Six in a row. <laughs> Way to go, Arnold. Thank Thanks you. A lot, I appreciate man. it. Thank you very much. The Garlic City Car Show here in Gilroy, California has been a lot of fun. Beautiful little town. Great show. Not a bad place to come in August. Check it out. Hi.